Hi guys, I hope you can hear me. It's raining again, I've had to put the umbrella off. It's been a beautiful day, so this is disappointing. When I set this up, it was beautiful and sunny. What we're going to do today is something new. You've seen Smash Burgers, they're so last year. We're going to do the Onion Burger. Keep watching and find out what that is and how we're doing. I know I'm yours, So I've moved in here where it's not quite as noisy. So the onion burger, um, I got the inspiration for this or doing this video from George Motts, who has opened a restaurant in New York in Soho, and I'll link that below the website for that, called Hamburger America. And in 2004, he did a uh, documentary on the history of the hamburger. And then in 2023, after his documentary, books, and just being famous about burgers, George decided to open his own restaurant in Soho in New York. And one of the things he specializes in is what's called the onion burger. As well as a smash burger in, in the depression in Oklahoma, they invented what was called the onion burger. And the reason it was invented really was because of the Great Depression. They couldn't afford the beef and so they had to bulk it up. So George has become very famous uh, for selling this onion burger and his restaurant packed out. I'll also put a link to a fantastic documentary about him if you want to watch that. And um, we're going to put a, an onion burger and a smash burger in the same bun. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So sorry about the rain. Sorry about the noise from the umbrella. But we'll do the best we can in the circumstances. Yes. Cheers. You, you, you literally use half an onion per burger to make it. It's very simple. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're just going to very quickly toast up some buns. And I'm using my Weber Summit here in the plancher. So it takes a few seconds. Toast them up and then we'll get them up here to keep warm. So one minute later, they'll be nicely toasted. As you'll see, look at that, lovely. We, had some, we just put some butter on those, so put those up there to keep them warm. So what we're going to do is we're going to steam them on the burgers. So, despite this uh, horrible weather, it's absolutely downpouring. We're going to do the onion burgers first. So, put the meat on. Spread it open. Put some salt on there. This is just sea salt. Then, literally half a very, very thinly sliced onion. In fact, what I'll do first is I'll slightly squash it down. Like that. And we better move quick so I don't stick. And literally half an onion on there. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy amount of onion. We do the full press. Like that. And you don't worry about the ridiculous amount of onion here because this is great, by the way. This is Angus in the burger press. If you don't want the burger to stick to your press, use foil. So let them cook through, then we'll flip them. And what happens is the onion renders down. There's a lot less of it by the time it's finished. It smells absolutely fantastic. So you want your grill nice and hot, but not ridiculously hot for this. And when you can see the so the juice is coming up to the top is the time that we're going to flip. They look as though I think they're cooking through now, so we're going to flip these. Look at that. Let that render down right. Now we go with the cheese on top there. The rain is coming down so fast, so 
And this is a trick I learned from watching George put the bung on. And then this one on top like that to steam it. Close the lid, some steam on there. Wow. What that does is it imparts the um, onions and the burger juices into the bun. Look at that melting down beautifully. Absolutely fantastic. What we might do is keep some of these onions for the next one. So there's going to be some that aren't in the burger. Put that many on. And the, the secret with the onions is to slice them really thinly. George in his restaurant has a special machine. He used to use a deli slicer, he says. But you can do it very thinly with a, with a knife. So I think they're just about done. So we'll lift those up onto our top grill. Wow. Like so. Right. Shame we've wasted all these onions, really. I might smash some more meat into one of those for me, because I like onions. My son's not as bothered, but... Right, and we'll just have two, we'll have one normal smash burger and we'll have uh, another onion in one, which will be mine. And this plancha is fantastic for the summer. If you want to see a video on this plancha, which I've just bought uh, from the UK, uh, I'll put a link above now for you to look at. Not quite done enough that one. Let's get rid of these onions there, we don't need them. Absolutely beautiful. Got some burnt onions on there, should be nice. Right, so what we'll do is, I'll have this one. Wow. Put the or onion and burger on top. It's one. Wow, the juice in them. This is what we're left with. Look at that. Easy to do. Amazing meal. Better than any burger you can probably get in most UK restaurants. Cheap to make, depression food, US depression food, how's that? Hope you enjoyed it, if you want to see any more barbecue videos please like and subscribe. Cheers, bye!